uh, today, 24th of October, uh, a multi-sectoral team is here in Munyonyo together with the, the external evaluators that we requested for from the WHO to carry out the second joint external evaluation. A very important exercise that helps us to evaluate the capacities that we have built over time to prevent, protect against, and respond to public health emergencies of international concern. I want to appreciate the Office of the Prime Minister for spearheading this exercise and also for ensuring that all the ministries, departments and agencies are mobilized to participate. Allow me to point some of the achievements which we have made from 2019 to 2023. Six regional emergency operation centers have been established. That's one in Mbali, Arua, Kampala Metropolitan, Masaka, Hoima and Fort Foto and many more uh, others will be put into place. The Public Health Act by the Minister of Health and the key stakeholders was recently amended and passed by Parliament and was ascended by the His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda. AEE is uh, intended to assess the country capacity to prevent, detect and respond to public health emergencies. I am aware that this uh, second JEE has been a journey it started six months ago with the country expressing interest to World Health Organization. And uh, once this interest was expressed, a go-ahead was given. After that, a number of processes started. Again, as the Minister for Health, allow me to complain that the implementation was largely left to the Ministry of Health. And my message again, the implementation of the National Action Plan is a multi-sectoral issue and all ministries, departments, and agencies must handle the areas that are your obligation. 